scientists, here are the directions for the 7.6 energy flow activity. You're going to start by logging into FOSS. You can click this link and log in using Clever. I already have it open in a separate tab. So I'm just going to log in. Sometimes it takes a while. If you see it loading, just be patient. And once you get here, the textbook that we are using is chemical interaction. So go ahead and find this one and click on it. It has a firework on the cover, maybe a sparkler. I wouldn't call that a firework. The next step says to find the multimedia column that's right here. And you're going to open the activity called energy flow. This takes, oh, it's loading fast today. I won't say it takes a while to load. Okay, so let's see. Let's go back to the directions and check it out. Uh, we just completed up to step five. Now we're on step six. Click and drag the temperatures to the room, inner tub, and outer tub. Tub means bucket. So let's do that. Here's the room temperature. So I click on the zero and drag it to the room. The outer tub, which is down here, this is the outside of the tub or the bucket and the inner tub. Okay, once I have those in the right place, it says drag and drop the arrows to represent the energy flow. So remember, energy flows from high to low. Hmm, this is tricky. I notice that these are all the same temperature. So I think there's not actually going to be any energy flow because they're all just going to give energy to each other. I'm going to se uh, select the back and forth arrow. Okay, once I think I have the answers, I'll click check me. And I got it right. Good job. You're going to click another and try to solve a few different puzzles. I'm going to refresh this because these are all the same again, which will give us the same results. I want to show you a more challenging one. Okay, here we go. Outer tub is zero. Inner tub is 40 and room is 40. So now I have a, some different numbers. You can see how the answers might look different. Okay, let's start over here. I have this icy water that's zero degrees Celsius and the air is 40. So I know that energy will flow from the higher energy air to the lower energy ice water. So I would click and drag the arrow going this way. Remember 40 degrees Celsius is hotter than zero. So the energy would flow this way. Now here I have the opposite. I have the higher number here. So I know that this warmer water will give energy to the colder water. And last here, I have two of the same. So the energy will flow equally between them. Checked and my answers are correct. You're gonna click another and go through this activity at least four times. Once you've solved at least four problems, you can write or record um, three sentences to reflect on what you learned. So remember, to start your uh, answer, click Submit Assignment. You can type here. There are optional sentence starters to help you. Or if you'd like to record yourself, you can click Media. You don't have to use the video. You can turn it off or you can upload from your computer. Okay, y'all, don't forget to click Submit Assignment when you're done, and I'm looking for three sentences to give you full credit.